Good afternoon. So I'm Jan, for those of you uh, who don't know me yet, um, and I'm super thrilled to meet you all. Meeting with partners like you is the most exciting thing in my job, actually. Despite being a CTO, which means building products and technology and, and stuff like this, but really getting valuable feedback from guys like you uh, is the thing that I enjoy, enjoy most. And so I hope that I can not only share a lot of insights with you, uh, but also receive a lot of feedback for you, uh, from you afterwards um, and smaller rounds or during the coffee break. So please make sure that you always uh, provide me feedback and uh, tell us what you like about our product, what we should improve, and uh, I'm always here to listen and uh, to take your, your feedback with me. And now, I would love to take you on a small journey to a galaxy far, far away. In the beginning, there was light. And the light was coming from the very first website that was created by Tim Berners-Lee on August 6th, 1991. And he actually created this website already on December 20th, 1999. Now you can calculate and do the math how long it took him to get this website online. Fortunately, this is much easier today and much quicker. So 22 years ago, and this very first website was hosted on an NEXT computer in CERN. And this is very special because you can say this is how everything started. You can say this website from Tim Berners-Lee was the big bang of the web. And the web massively expanded incredibly fast to more than 1.7 billion websites running on approximately 9 million web-facing servers. Isn't that impressive? And how cool is that? We are all in this industry. And I want to share more insights with you about this galaxy, this universe, how it is expanding and how it's actually uh, touching our business and how we can shape the future. And let's have a quick look back at the following animation. And this is how the web is growing. The yellow bars represent the amount of websites worldwide. And now just have a look how the web performs. And now we're heading to 2013. Look at that. Isn't that impressive? And the web is still expanding. And all this light that we see when we look into the sky with our telescopes called Google is actually powered from thousands of cloud service providers. Or shall we better say star service providers. Let's have a look here 
from our observatory in Singapore where the largest stars are. Then to understand how many websites are hosted on how many servers by each cloud service provider, we need to scan the whole web, like astronomers, uh, astronomers do, um, scanning the sky with their observatories. The challenge here is that there are 2.8 billion IPv4 addresses rooted in the entire internet, which leads to 56 million HTTP hosts in total that need to be scanned, but only 8.9 million unique web-facing servers, and they host altogether a total of more than 1.7 billion sites. And those on 239 million domains. And there are tons of research companies out there that either scan the top 1 million domains or the top 10 million domains. But honestly, we want to have far more evidence and break down all the website and technology data into each major hosting company on this planet. So we want to exactly know how websites are built, what are the future trends, what are people using for technology, and how are things moving. And fortunately, we as Plesk, thanks to our other brand that's called Xovi.com, who are uh, market leaders in the search engine um, optimization space, uh, had already deep insights into how websites are actually built and how they are ranked in all the search engines. Um, and that allowed us to really analyze all of those websites um, and their ranking positions in Baidu, Yahoo, Google, Bing, and so on. Um, yeah, and we just had to also add technology data on top. Now, let's get into numbers. So there are 239 million domain names or registered domains, but only 88 million actually are ranked by Google. Let's have a look at some fresh data points. Welcome to our private observatory here in Singapore. And we are lucky today, as there are no clouds blocking our view to the stars. And there are millions of stars out there, right? So look at them. Today, I want to show you the real size of those stars. And let's begin with setting the scale, our sun. Bright and shiny with a diameter of more than uh, 860,000 miles, our sun is the baseline for our comparison between stars in the universe that really exist, measured by their diameter, and the size of cloud service providers by number of web-facing servers. Our beautiful sun relates to the cloud service provider host way in our example. And in the star constellation, of the lion, we find the next bigger star, a blue star called Regulus. This huge star is around three times bigger than our known sun. And not only because of the blue color, but also because of its size, we assign it to the Swiss ISP Swisscom and continue to search for bigger stars. And we see the next blue giant called Spica, 220 light years away with a diameter of around 6.4 million miles, bringing, uh, bringing us to the point to compare it with the German-based uh, hoster group, United Internet. As the 16th brightest star, it can be found in star constellation Vigo. But there is an even bigger star in this constellation. The Arcturus, with a diameter of 25 times the diameter of our sun, and the colors and hosters match so great together that we couldn't resist to assign the German leader for dedicated and virtual servers, Hetzner, to this comparison, Oops, um, as the sixth largest hoster in the world by number of servers. But we want to reach number one, so let's continue. The next one is one of the most famous stars useful to the sailors since centuries, and known by every child due to its appearance in the little bear. It's Polaris, the polar star. 
shining bright in the, in the sky in the northern hemisphere and featuring the diameter of our sun times 50. Such an amazing size brings us to the top four of, house, of the hoster ranking, OVH. Time for the top three. For our next comparison, we are to use the star Alphard. This huge star, an ocean of energy, we assign it to digital ocean with reflecting more than 550,000 servers. But we only reached the third place in this comparison. So let's go deeper. Our telescope brings us to the second largest star in our comparison. Can you guess it? The blue giant Rigel representing the hyperscaler Alibaba with a diameter of more than 90 times bigger than our sun. Well, let's go with the number one. Can you still see the, you can't, it's not even a pixel yet. The baseline on our scale disappeared. <laughs> How tiny it got, yeah. Nearly invisible for our eyes, but I promised number one, and here we go. Oh, wow. Wait a moment. <laughs> that shouldn't be here, right? AWS, let me introduce you to Daynap, a blue star 180 times the size of our sun in the constellation of the Swan, a real giant in the universe um, related to the server champion in the clouds. And all these stars are made from the most simplest things that we know put together from uh, and to, together they form huge and complex elements. So, for example, all of them consist of hydrogen and helium. And if you put that together with a lot of pressure and a lot of heat, then you get more heavy elements. Um, just like uh, nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, or iron. Now, back to our business. Let's take the simplest things that we all offer to our customers, a database, a web server, some code, PHP or JavaScript, for example, some HTML, and combine all those things. And then we get from the simple things some more complex elements for building websites. And yet, we get a beautiful yet complex system like WordPress. You might wonder, but WordPress actually is meanwhile the fuel of more than 34.6% of all websites worldwide and growing. We keep talking about it because of potential and growth, uh, uh, because of importance and growth potential. So for those of you who haven't yet offered uh, specialized plans for WordPress, have a look at this graph here. WordPress is a must-have for hosts and cloud service providers. The usage of WordPress for building websites is continuously growing. And WordPress is by far the most popular way of building websites ever. And by the way, also for eShops. So it's the WooCommerce plus WordPress is the most used technology for eShops worldwide. And at Plesk, we love numbers and measure everything. And of course, we want you to understand who actually hosts most WordPress sites. And you can clearly see, uh, contrast is not so good, but I can read it out loud for you, that GoDaddy actually, or the GoDaddy group, hosts most of all WordPress sites uh, with a real domain name ranked by Google. Subdomains are not included here. Uh, neither are WordPress sites and subfolders like slash blog or something like this. And that's a bit unf uh, unfair for automatic because um, automatic hosts actually a lot of uh, WordPress sites on subdomains like also janloeffler.wordpress.com. Um, and those are not included in this chart. Like all other WordPress sites um, that run on subdomains like blog.mydomain.com. But there's something you cannot see here. Plus, it's actually powering the second largest amount of WordPress sites and quickly growing. 
And what you can also, what we can easily see from our web crawler is how many domains actually switched their hosting provider over time. We don't include any movements happening by acquisitions, just to be fair to everybody. Um, we only track if a domain was hosted on hoster A and is now with hoster B a year after, for example. And this is quite interesting because then you can see who are actually the winners of the industry, who won most of the domains. And you can clearly see that the winners are companies like SiteGround, DigitalOcean, Automatic, Google, and Hetzner. They have won the most WordPress sites from other hosters. You might ask if those are also are the most popular in terms of WordPress hosting. Having the best service, the most happy customers, and generating the highest APU? Well, if you ask the WordPress professionals and web agencies around the globe, you definitely get a different picture. Those are actually the companies that are mentioned the most uh, when you ask what is the best um, and pop most popular WordPress hoster. And that's quite confusing, isn't it? So we were confused as well, just to be honest. But most of them are growing fast and have the highest NPS rates. Why is that? What's the difference between them compared to other players? What makes them stand out of the crowd? To understand what good WordPress offering is, we first need to understand the workflows, the pain points, and the needs of WordPress users. And especially, we're especially interested in the feedback of WordPress professionals, because those work with WordPress every day and installing a WordPress site, come on, that's a piece of cake. This is how you won't win. It's more about keeping a, a website up to date, keep it running, resist all the attacks every day, every hour, um, keep, keep it performing and fast, and be efficient, bring new content online quickly without waiting, wasting time. So let's have a look what those users say. WordPress profe uh, web, web professionals are people whose business it is to develop professional websites and who want to earn money with it. And this target audience is very interesting because when earning money, they are willing to pay a premium for quality and good service um, if this saves their precious time. Because for web agencies, is not the cheapest price that counts. It's all about throughput and how many customers they can make happy. So what do web professionals actually really need? So we asked them around the globe and um, they need security, reliability, convenience, uh, and performance. Not only from WordPress, but especially from you as their hosters. And to judge who actually does best in WordPress, we need to test with a neutral jury. And I'm absolutely thrilled to present to you the final results from World's Next Top Hoster, the WordPress edition. We work together with the market research company Cloud Spectator, who deeply reviewed and tested 17 hosting companies, all claiming to have a great managed WordPress product, to show everyone what a real WordPress offering is. The candidates are companies like Kinsta, WP Engine, GoDaddy, A2 Hosting, and Pantheon. And Cloud Spectator took 17 companies from all three regions that offer managed and unmanaged WordPress in the price range of $50 to $150. Presenting you the full insights would probably take an hour alone especially if we go into the details of the performance and stress test um, that was done. And the team was continuously measuring not only response times, but also how many concurrent requests per second each hoster can easily satisfy, or their experience when they call the support uh, and were asking for help with WordPress-specific questions. So are you interested in those insights? Very good. 
Here are the top performers of 2019 awarded by Cloud Spectator. WP Engine is awarded in six out of nine categories, followed by Kinsta with five awards, and GoDaddy, ZNet Live, and the German Host Press for, uh, with uh, four awards each. The WordPress offering of one on one IONOS, for example, as part of United Internet, only achieved to be awarded in two categories back then in March 2019. If we would run the benchmark again today, then with a new WordPress Pro product, the result would be completely different. Do you all want to see how the new WordPress Pro, based on Plesk WordPress Toolkit scores? The new WordPress Pro product scores additionally in the following five categories. Security features, staging and cloning, backup and restore, performance features, and developer friendliness. And that means that WP Pro targeting agencies and WordPress professionals, which was developed by 101 IONOS and Plus together, wins seven out of nine categories. And you all can do the same. Together as partners, we can easily win market share and increase your ARPU. So just get in touch with us and we are happy to help you to make a really great WordPress offering. But back to the main question. Who won world's top poster? What are the final results? So let's see. As you can see, SiteGround and WP Engine are leading, followed by the German WordPress expert uh, HostPress which also runs uh, Plesk WordPress Toolkit, by the way. But if we look at value per dollar spent, then we also see that the traditional hosters score better since they offer their products at much, much lower prices. And as you can see, ZNet Live here um, is leading the league. But of course, if we go back, those hosters here, they charge far more per site, have more ARPU in the end. So both were, uh, uh, ways work. And if you haven't already uh, seen the full results, then you can either scan the QR code, but there's a better thing. Um, in your boxes that you just, uh, <coughs> that you just received um, uh, when, when getting your batch, there is a printed version of the whole report available for everybody of you, where you can read out all the um, results uh, from Cloud Spectator and the WordPress benchmark. So just have a look in your box later. What differentiates those top players from the rest? What makes them stand out of the crowd? That's an amazing support specialized on WordPress, where you also get serious advice if you plan a new campaign. Maybe you want to sell Christmas cakes approaching Christmas soon, and you need to tune your site for more performance. Um, but they are also usually very active in the WordPress community and contribute code or sponsor WordCamps. And the foundation is, however, a clear focus on WordPress with an optimized infrastructure. And this, of course, allows them to charge more for their, for their additional value than the other hosters. Let's also have a look at the recent acquisitions in the uh, WordPress market. Smaller specialized hosters and tools get acquired by the bigger ones and the battle continues. GoDaddy is quite big in the M&A business anyway, but also in the WordPress space. And they, are, they were buying, for example, Managed WP, WP Curve, Sucuri, ThemeBeans, and some others. But that's not all. Not everyone wants to solve their problems um, on their own. There are tons of services cooperating with each other uh, to be deliver the best-in-class WordPress uh, product to their customers. And as an example, I brought you AWS, who is now promoting. That's yeah, the English version. Good. It's who is now promoting GoDaddy Pro sites, with uh, which was um, uh, uh, earlier managed WP, and they actually faced that they had a lot of hacked servers. And that was quite interesting. So AWS, DigitalOcean, Google, um, and uh, uh, Microsoft were approaching us to talk with us about um, 
um, hacked WordPress sites and that their network engineers saw a lot of malicious traffic in their networks and um, how, how this can be solved. And this is actually coming from a lot of WordPress instances that are just one-click instances running on virtual servers uh, in their data centers, but they are unprotected. And the worst is, for example, to use uh, tools like Bitnami, make it easy like DigitalOcean does to spin up a WordPress instance, and then three weeks later it's hacked because it was not updated and secured because the user usually doesn't know how to do that. And that's a problem, and there's something where you as the hosters um, should have the duty to help the user to stay safe and um, to, to configure it properly. And Amazon just solved one of the biggest pain points um, they had with this corporation, plus generating additional revenue. According to the latest research from Sucuri from 2018, 90% of all hacked CMS sites were WordPress, which of course no wonder remembering, remembering the market share. Um, but even more interesting is that 44% of hacked uh, content management system sites have been hacked because of an outdated core version. And I'm not speaking here about the plugin or theme. This comes on top. And malicious plugins are everywhere. So this is really uh, um, uh, dangerous. But the question to you now is, come on, how easy can it be to protect those 44% of hacked sites by just keeping them updated? And here comes the tricky point. We spoke to a lot of web agencies and they claimed that they're actually afraid of updating the websites of their clients. A, because they are paid per project, so they work in a different workflow. Uh, and after the project, the site is with the customer. The customer has no technical knowledge to keep it updated and won't do it. And the agency is out of the game because it's not paid anymore. The other thing is they are afraid because every time when they run the updates, there could be something that breaks and some plugins might not be compatible. And if the side of the customer breaks, then it means they have no revenue and, a, and an angry customer, which is not good. So in the end, what they need is they need solutions from you, how they can test those updates um, and where it's safe and reliable to update. So what's the perfect WordPress product now? Knowing that this is what the website owners need today. It's not about which data center or hardware sizing to offer. That's boring, but it's about speaking the language of the users. It's all about the value that they can get from you and how you are able to uh, make them happy and, and successful and how they can actually get their job done with your product. WordPress users appreciate the extra value uh, that saves their precious time and they will be happy to spend a premium if you offer the right product to them. For example, tell them how you keep them safe. Tell them how they can test their sites and manage changes. Tell them how flexible they are, uh, how fast they can create new sites or how easy it is to import existing sites. How they can integrate their favorite tools. Tell them even how many concurrent visitors they are able to handle approximately. So now you've gained some insights into the needs of web professionals and what differentiates great WordPress hosters from the rest. What, what has this to do with Plesk? Users don't care about control panels. Users care about a seamless WordPress experience and Plesk exactly delivers the solution, including the whole technology stack for you to become a great WordPress hoster. And as you have seen, some of the wor uh, wor uh, world's best uh, WordPress hosters already use and trust Plesk and its WordPress toolkit. They easily integrated WordPress toolkit into their offerings and communicate its value. And the WordPress toolkit fulfills all the needs mentioned before. Plesk comes with all the security features from kernel level up to application level and provides multiple backup solutions, staging and maintenance, support, performance tuning, caching, and most importantly, the tools to make your customers successful and happy. And one of the most exciting features 
is Smart Updates because Smart Updates takes care of all your updates without ever breaking your site. Thanks to a deep learning based visual testing on dynamically created um, test environments, whenever there are core plugin or theme updates available for any of your WordPress sites on your platform, Smart Updates will test all those updates through before on a test environment, not on production. And if everything goes well and all the tests run through positively, then it will push the site to production without any risk. But if there's something wrong, something not working as expected, it will send a notification to the site owner and tell them, look, there are the following updates that should be installed on your site, but there's an issue afterwards, so please have a look. And the customer is always in control. You, the customer makes a decision whether to push to production or fix the errors first or block some of those updates. And that helps you to reduce all maintenance operations and burden to zero. As another example, I brought you our own numbers of WordPress sites being managed by WordPress Toolkit today, which almost doubled in the last 18 months. So how many of you don't use or offer Plesk yet? Hands up. Everybody? Uh, uh, what, two? That's good. That's good, because it means that everybody else is already on Plesk. Cool. And for the others, hopefully I can convince you. <laughs> That's good, Marcus. <laughs> All right. So last year, we have been to 30 uh, WordPress events and often heard the question, Wow, WordPress Toolkit, that's awesome. But how can I use it if my hoster does not offer Plesk? And that's a, a valid question. So, of course, we want everybody to offer Plesk for hosting. And you're the best example already. Uh, but, of course, I'm not naive. So, um, not everybody will do that, maybe. Uh, some have homegrown systems and, and so on. But... We don't give up easily. We highly invest into WordPress and continue the development of the WordPress Toolkit. And we have actually here WordPress Daddy, the product owner of the WordPress Toolkit here, Andy, who will give a talk and, and give you some insights about behind the scenes after mine. Um, yeah, and we wanted to make it possible that everybody can use WordPress Toolkit um, independently of the infrastructure. And I'm today super thrilled to introduce to you remote management for WordPress Toolkit. Our target is nothing less than enabling users of any hoster worldwide to manage their WordPress sites independently of their hosting infrastructure. And this is a true game changer and allows all of you to offer uh, a service like GoDaddy's Managed WP. Of course, on Plesk, it's always the best. It's the best experience. Um, but we will deliver also a WordPress toolkit standalone uh, for those who have a custom control panel and want to integrate WordPress Toolkit directly there without Plesk. And here it is. WordPress remote management enables everyone to manage their WordPress sites remotely. So join our beta program um, and help us to deliver the best WordPress management experience uh, for your customers. And as you can see on the screen, so this is actually real. Um, you can now manage multiple sites from one single dashboard um, while they're actually hosted on different machines. And of course, all of our uh, company websites like Plesk.com, uh, Solos.io, Xolvi.com, they're all running on, on, on Plesk. They're all running on WordPress Toolkit. They're all WordPress sites, obviously. Uh, they can now manage, uh, be managed from one single dashboard. Um, and there you can see if there are security updates pending, um, if there's something else, uh, some problem, you can manage them just with one click. By the way, are you all sure that your WordPress sites hosted on your infrastructure are probably secured? Or do some also use outdated versions, have malicious plugins and themes, core vulnerabilities, or expose too much information? So since I under understood that you all are already on Plesk, then you might be quite safe. 
uh, because WordPress Toolkit does exactly that for you. Um, for those who have still other servers like VPS um, and uh, are not using Plesk, you definitely should monitor that. And if you don't have a WordPress specific vulnerability scanning yet, then we offer you WP Check. Uh, Plus WP Check is a free WordPress security checker tool to analyze um, the security status of all WordPress sites uh, on a server from command line. It's completely free, can be executed with one single command from any Linux. Um, all relevant Linux distributions are supported and um, can be repeated as often as you want and it checks for vulnerabilities even in plugins and themes. So it can help a lot. It gives you then full transparency. This is how you use it. So it's just a one-time installation on a server and then you can run WP check and it gives you all you need. And you can even automate that. There's minus minus JSON and you get all the report data as JSON back and you can use it in your systems. I need to be quicker here, I see. Um, so here's the URL. You find it in our GitHub repository, github.com slash blesk, um, WP check, check it out. So now I could talk about hours, but Andy just told me I have only 10 minutes left. So I have to be quick. And the topic was actually the rise of Obsidian. We haven't talked about this yet. I would love to give you more insights about how web developers work, what workflows they have, which tools and frameworks they use but I won't have enough time and Patricia will kick me from stage. Um, so there's something I'm absolutely thrilled uh, that I would love to announce to you. And this is Plask Obsidian. Two weeks ago, we released the next milestone in the company's history. Plask Obsidian is the next major release of Plask and it's the best we have ever done. It's the most secure Plask that ever existed. It's the fastest, the most convenient, the smartest, the most feature-rich Plesk ever. Let's have a look at the new UI. Plesk Obsidian was inspired by the overwhelming positive feedback of our WordPress toolkit from users around the globe. And we continuously improve the user experience based on real user workflows to make it as easy as pie to build, run, and secure apps, websites, and online businesses. There, we conducted a lot of test labs in the background, interviewed thousands of people to get relevant feedback about how to make the UI better than before. And there are tons of highlights of Plesk Obsidian that I could mention, uh, but as I said, I, I will be kicked from stage, so uh, have to be short. We've put extra love into the product, and based on your feedback, actually, and, and thousands of Plesk admins, we modernized the whole web stack according to global trends um, we continued to turn Plesk into a self-driving server that keeps your customers happy and safe, and most importantly, that comes completely secured out of the box. So every new Plesk server that is created will be secured out of the box. And every website that is newly created will automatically get SSL, will get a SEO-friendly redirect to HTTPS, um, and we have tons of other things uh, where we support the user throughout the whole user journey um, up until push notifications to mobile and uh, the no new notification center. And there's a lot of highlights written there that is new and if we would fill all the features then we would uh, have to do several pages of, of new features. The most feature rich Plesk we's, we've ever done. Um, so. I'll be quick. Uh, there's auto SSL, SNI for mail services, auto config for email, which was highly requested, new monitoring service, uh, better backup systems, a self-driving repair kit that automatically can um, uh, repair plus if there's some, some issue. Um, PHP composer, a Mongo database, uh, a lot of more stuff. Well, let's go on. <laughs> and for those of you uh, who are new to Plesk. Uh, Plesk has an integrated advisor um, that guides the user by the hand and makes sure to always show the next best step for the user to s make the server secured, the website secure, get better search engine rankings or uh, improve the website speed. And the advisor gets better with every single release and helps with PHP updates, with backups, finding malware and, and so on. So much more is coming in the advisor. 
And you told us we listened, advanced monitoring is one of the most requested features of Plesk. And I'm super happy to announce that we have now deep insights in what's happening on your server. So even better, you also get a Grafana extension ready for you to configure your own personalized hosting dashboards. So all the data is at your fingertips and you really know what's happening on each of the Plus servers. Did I mention already PHP Composer? So to, with that, you can easily manage the dependencies um, and PHP applications, deploy PHP applications, and as I said, as another highlight, uh, we bring native support for Mongo database. And for all the other apps that are not deeply integrated in Blesk yet, just use the improved uh, Docker catalog and deploy any app from Docker Hub with one click. And Vincent van Gogh, he said once, great things are done by a series of small things brought together. And this is why we continuously deliver new extensions every single month, so you can easily provide the tools and features for any use case. And yes, you should money make money too. The Plus extension catalog is the toolbox to meet customer needs and resolve their issues quickly. The availability of Plus extensions also helps you to retain existing customers beyond the first year of service renewal. Simply integrate your top picks in your own storefront and sell extensions as an add-on. Or join the Premier League of Web Hosting 2.0 and make hard bundles. Either way, your customers will benefit from having the tools and services that they actually need handcrafted um, to tune generic infrastructure into a fast and secure modern web stack and apply additional security and more. And this all from an intuitive and user-friendly um, yeah, UI where you can manage those extensions. You might ask, why extensions? Why are you focusing so much? It's just like in Linux, yeah? We focus on having a very lean, robust core that is very secured, and then we can add a lot of extensions around it. So that makes it for you easier to select what you want to offer. So it's not one monolithic application, but more you decide what you want to offer. We can open source a lot of extensions and let others contribute. Um, that's also nice things. We deliver much faster and a much, much higher quality. Um, and in the end, we give you the opportunity um, to yeah, uh, make additional revenues um, by tuning your infrastructure products, uh, yeah, the infrastructure into products that your customers actually want and need. Like a managed WordPress like we've seen before. And I would like to quickly introduce you to the latest extensions. We completely reworked Plus Premium email together with our friends from Colab. These are the guys behind Roundcube. Um, and while improving the user experience and adding more stability and many more features, we massively dropped prices and introduced better suiting plans based on your feedback. So make sure to check it out if you want to offer modern email uh, based on your Plus servers and then compete against uh, G Suite and Office 365. And since users asked for it, um, we delivered also Nextcloud, which is a great cloud storage and collaboration suite. And this is all for free in the extension beta, uh, in the extension catalog in the beta section, um, but it's production ready. You can already use it. Uh, we just leave it in the beta section because we really get valuable feedback there. Um, and continue the, the development. And if your heart beats for Joomla, which I heard also earlier today, uh, the second most used CMS, then check out the Joomla toolkit. So Plesk Obsidian is the perfect innovation platform for your business. But does everybody know actually why Elvis Plesky is our mascot? because Blesk needs all of his eight hands to offer you the best in class platform. And we haven't even talked about Node.js, Ruby, or just using a site builder. And before you think about waiting another year before upgrading, don't do that. 
If you are not at least on Plesk Onyx 17.8, then upgrade now. And directly to Obsidian, of course. Earlier we learned why it's so important to keep WordPress updated. Why the hell Plesk? Because it's simply the best Plesk release in company's history. It has the highest NPS rate. Um, it is, has the fa it's the fastest growing, has the lowest support volume. I know I said that yet last year already for 17.8, and it's true, Obsidian was topping that um, already now. Um, and it has the best security. And there's an easy formula the latest Blesk release equals happier customers. And even more importantly, without upgrading, your customers won't get WordPress toolkit, they won't get the advisor, and they won't get the latest extensions and the highest security. Do I have three more minutes? Oh yeah, oh, okay. Uh, three. More. One more thing that I need to mention. Who of you sells VPS products? Hands up. A lot of you. So see, this is why I should take three more minutes. I have something super exciting for you. Who actually of you thinks that you can easily keep up with DigitalOcean? See? This is why I'm showing that to you. We have set ourselves the target to simplify virtual infrastructure management for service providers and organizations and enable them to directly compete against DigitalOcean and increase your market share with VPS um, by offering self-service control solution. Solos IO is the successor of Solos VM and brings two interfaces, one for service providers to define all the products that you want to sell, um, like for example, uh, manage WordPress, VPS or whatever, um, where you can define how you actually want to build prepaid or pay as you grow. It's completely up to you. You decide what you want to offer. You can even offer a business and collaboration suite for SMBs, all deeply integrated. And um, everything is configurable. Um, we've done it completely API first. As a modern REST API, we can do everything. And Plesk, cPanel, and WordPress Toolkit standalone are already integrated seamlessly. And if you want to learn more about Solos.io or anything else, then reach out to me or my colleagues. Um, we'll give you more information about all the products and uh, happy to receive your feedback. Because if you don't, if you're not using the latest and greatest uh, Plesk, then you're probably ignoring current market trends and innovation. And if you're too busy to leave your comfort zone, then you'll soon get stuck in digital stone age and won't be even invited for uh, world's next top hoster. But hey, no worries. The sooner you fall behind, the more time you have to catch up. And in order to apply for next WordPress toolkit, uh, no, world's next top hoster, make sure to take away at least the following three statements. A, a great WordPress product increases your ARPU, but needs to be done right using the properly advertisement uh, and the customer's language. Second, Plesk is your trusted partner for all the products you want to sell, or like Obi-Wan Kenobi would say, remember, the fourth will always be with you. And third, Plesk Obsidian is a true milestone of hosting platforms and allows you and your customers to innovate. So if you want to learn more or learn about the secrets and so on, one problem, I missed all my credit cards exactly next to my luggage at home in Germany. So I did, did not bring a single one. Business cards. What did I say? Credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> I have only one. Ah, a few more. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't give you my credit card, but... And since I don't have my business card with me, take a picture if you want, or just ask me afterwards. There, I even have written you my mobile number. So. Call me, contact me, give me feedback, ask questions, I'm here for you. And next time, oh, you take a picture? Okay, this goes all from Andy's time. All right. Otherwise, ask me afterwards. And next time when it's dark and you're looking up to the stars, remember how Elvis Plesky will help you to make your star 
shine brighter than all the others. The mission of Plesk is to simplify the lives of web professionals. And let me close this talk with a quote from Tim Berners-Lee. The web, as I envisioned it, we have not seen it yet. The future is so much bigger than the past. Or as Yoda would say, always in motion is the future. Thank you. <laughs>